scavenge lord loot video it's that time of week again and here is a lot of the stuff that I got this morning when I went out scavenging and oh heavens a murgatroyd did I have fun uh, since I've taken my new job about three four weeks back this is the first garbage day that I've actually had the entire morning off to go scavenging so even though I overslept by an hour and the garbage truck definitely did not I still uh, greatly enjoyed uh, the opportunity to go out and do some scavenging for a solid two hours and it was fairly productive so let's take a look at the things that we got here this is the brush end of a long handled brush I happen to have a long handled brush it would fit this and this one looks at like like new and the long handled brush I pulled out of a dumpster uh, at least a, like uh, two, two three years back and I've been using it quite a lot ever since now this would have been the find of the day this is a set of uh, plastic shelves with three shelves and there were eight posts but as I was coming back on my bicycle uh, bungee cords came loose when I was just feet away from my front door and uh, everything spilled out so I ran over one of my eight posts and it's now worthless so I've got these seven posts holding these shelves together and that's just not working out at all so I'm going to turn this over to the Goodwill and maybe somebody else already has a set like these and they could combine this with what they've already got I got three pairs of shoes here they are men's shoes size 13 which is way too big for me and this pair is men's size ten and a half. Oh, I might actually try those on. But all of these look like they were in really good shape. Uh, these two had some soles that were coming off, so I glued those back together myself and pinned them down with a vice, with a couple of vices. So they'll hold for weeks that way. Uh, I got a couple of newspapers, three Daddle Peppers. Hey, if you don't know what Daddle Peppers are, oh, you've been missing out. Three cups of garlic sauce from Pizza Boxes. A couple of nice bags. And a bag of Jet Puffed Marshmallows. Unopened bag, brand new, fresh. And this, I suppose, is my find of the week very snazzy hey this is a folding chair I find a lot of folding chairs like these um, at least one a week but uh, usually they're in much much worse shape than this they're torn they've got all uh, holes in them this one just has a little bit of rust and we've got uh, some broken plastic down here on one corner but it's still very sturdy it'll sit in the lawn quite well I think that I might hold on to this until the summer and then try to sell it when the timing is right. And here is even more stuff. Here we have uh, several bags, uh, some of which I used for carrying stuff back to my house here. Two radio alarm clocks, I still have to test those and hopefully one of them will work better than the alarm clock which failed me this morning a roll of toilet paper, a bag full of working pens and pencils look at that some more peppers, these look like sweet peppers two remote controls, Oops, I don't have the devices for those remote controls but uh, thrift stores tend to have a large uh, department like an entire room set aside for old electronics so there's a good chance of a match there kids Halloween costume a kids snow white costume that is adorable 
and lots of clothes. Lots of tops, a couple of, win a couple of winter pieces, like uh, this mask right here, a couple of baby bibs that are in pretty good condition. This, I don't know what it is. It seems like a sweater vest, but it has no hole where the head should go. Maybe I'll let somebody else figure out that particular puzzle. And clothes, clothes, a lot, fair amount of tank tops, one hat. This is one of those oh, winter hoods that I mentioned, and a fairly nice uh, women's jacket right here. And just in case you think that I keep everything, no, actually I throw away quite a lot of items. These are all of the items that I carried back to my house and after sorting, I'm just throwing them away because they've been stained or torn. And this week uh, I've got a lot of baby clothes and bibs that I am throwing out instead of passing along. But this is the thing right here, which I, which I personally am excited about. What we have in here is a set of miniatures and mini paint. And I'm cracking this open for the first time now and taking a good look at it. I believe that these are Warhammer figurines. Yeah, yeah, that is an orc right there. I have what might be a full set, a full army of Warhammer figurines, and the paints are probably dried out, but I'll take a closer look at that. And these guys right here. Oh, there's an Eldar. If I were to buy all of these figurines off of eBay, it'd set me back at least 30 bucks. At least probably a lot more. And some of these are unpainted, some of them are already painted. Actually that guy's painted fairly well. That's not half bad. I would have painted it better of course. But yeah he's got that nice uh, snot green uh, complexion to him. And that's silver paint. It's not a pewter figurine. I might hold on to these guys myself, but I'm probably going to sell them off. Oh, we'll see. And this ends my loot video for the day. Thank you for watching. You watch them. You give me the loot. Give it. Give it up.